I must tell you a terrible tale of three colors, taupe and puce and mauve. At the back of the pack, like ignored orphan brothers, liked only by really old-fashioned grandmothers, forgotten and left out of art by the others, taupe and puce and mauve. No love. The three dreamed that one day they would cover the page with puce and mauve and taupe. Great light purple giraffes would majestically stroll with some muddy pink zebras across the wide plains with brown light streaming down through sunsetting skies filled with puce and mauve and taupe. But nope. The dull back of the box was the destined landscape for mauve and taupe and puce. Their felt tips never stroking clean sheets of white paper, their hopes unfulfilled. Then they saw the dark shape. Her small hand in the box gave sweet hope of escape from mauve and taupe and puce. In use! Five quick fingers reached in, touched each pen, then pulled out the taupe. Not puce, not mauve. I am flying, Tope shouted. I can't hang about, but I'll be sure to write and to draw and to outshine those colors who look down their rainbow-bright snouts at Tope and Puce and Mauve. New love? The excursion was brief. Right back into the box dropped Tope on Mauve and Puce. And they cried, where's your cap? You'll dry out. Was it knocked off? She gave it to Red, Jammy Git. His was lost off his head with despair that his life had been crossed off, he silently dried while the other two coughed off dark thoughts that their own lids could also be tossed off. Tope and mauve and puce. No use.